Uh, these days, if you're an elite basketball player, and I've had some experience with this, uh, not really, <laughs> uh, you're turning pro right after high school or maybe just a year or two of college. Jamie Edmonds has a story of one man with Detroit roots who paved the way for that to happen in tonight's Black History Month report. Any basketball player that has left college early or gone to the NBA right from high school has one guy to thank, and that's Spencer Haywood. Spencer Haywood was born in 1949 in a town called Silver City, Mississippi. It is not a city, nor does it have any silver. <laughs> he was the eighth of 10 siblings, and in that time, and in that area of the Deep South, destinies were predetermined. You either planting cotton, picking cotton, or chopping cotton. Haywood wanted out. He took a bus north to live with his brother Roy at Bowling Green State University. His brother signed Spencer up for a high school all-star basketball game in Detroit. I went up to Detroit with the idea of playing at Crunk basketball. I know, I know most Detroiters think of Crunk as a boxing, but it was before boxing, it was basketball. 15-year-old Haywood lit it up on the court. He was later adopted by a coach, Will Robinson, and another family, and Haywood became a Detroiter. He even won a state title at Pershing High School. After a solid year at junior college, he was chosen to represent the U.S. in the 1968 Olympics and won gold. Haywood then came back to the University of Detroit for his sophomore season. I ended up being the outstanding college player of the year. He then went pro to the ABA's Denver Rockets, where he was the MVP, Rookie of the Year, and the MVP of the All-Star Game. The owner of the NBA's Seattle Supersonics found out about Haywood and wanted him, so we offered him a better contract. One problem, Haywood wasn't four years removed from high school, which at the time was an NBA role. I walk out on the floor and they said, ladies and gentlemen, we have an illegal player on the floor, number 24. That's when Haywood decided to take on the NBA. As the case went through the courts, Haywood was often booed and often disrespected. Not even the Players Association supported him. Haywood versus the National Basketball Association went all the way to the Supreme Court. It was decided March 1, 1971, 7-2 in favor of the 21-year-old rookie. Haywood would go on to have a 14-year career in the league. He averaged 20.3 points and 10.3 rebounds per game. Haywood was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2015. Haywood believes the time has come for something else. The rule that today is commonly referred to as early entry rule, or the one and done, be officially named for what it is, the Spencer Haywood rule, for a guy who changed the game forever. I have created $30 billion plus in player contract, not endorsements, just player contracts. Haywood tells me it's up to the players union to make that official name change, and he's heard NBA Commissioner Adam Silver is on board. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. What a great story, Jamie. We appreciate it. Professional athletes are paid hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, but it hasn't always been that way. Turns out they have one man to thank, but many people don't know his name. You can see who by watching our History for All special. It's on the Black History Month section of our website. Click on Detroit.com.